Up next. Now, here's speaking of it's not what happens to you in life, it's kind of what you do about it, is the award for perseverance in presenting the winner of this award back in 2006. This is a legend. For his work in ethic, this USC Trojan, a three-time Olympian, and in 2000 was the first American man to ever break 15 minutes in the 1500 freestyle Joining him, a two-time ESPY award winner for best female athlete with a disability. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome three-time Olympic medalist Eric Vent and six-time Paralympic medalist Becca Myers. Great to be here tonight. What's this, what's this, little, this little guy's name right here? This is Birdie. Birdie. Woo. Must be pretty fun going to the lakes in the summer. Yeah. Swimming around? Yeah, you would think, but she actually hates the water. Really? Really. That's going to be tough. Yeah, so she'll just sit by the poolside and just watch, watch me swim back and forth. All right. Well, she likes something. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think we're here to uh, present this award, so let's get going. Um, of all the lessons we learn as swimmers, this one might be the most essential. Have the strength to persevere no matter what life throws at you. We've all faced adversity in our lives. The important thing is to meet every challenge and to overcome. Our three nominees this year have done just that. First, there's 21-year-old Ella Easton. In the lead up to nationals, she came down. Yeah, let's give a round of applause. She came down with mono which is no joke, and missed crucial training time. Nevertheless, she fought her way onto the Pan Pack team, and in her last race, the Tuna I am. Screw that one up. Next, there is Katie McLaughlin, who has faced a... <laughs> who has faced a long road back from serious injury after fracturing two vertebrae in her neck in early 2016. Two and a half years later, Katie was back to peak form, posting lifetime bests and earning a silver at Pam Pax as a member of the Women's 4 by 200 free relay. Our final nominee is 28-year-old Micah Summerall. In 2016, Micah just missed making her second Olympic team. And after stepping away from the sport, she stunned many by not only returning but emerging better than ever. In the 200 breast at Pan Pack, she raced to her first gold in international competition. Ella Easton, Katie McLaughlin, and Micah Sumrall, your nominees for the 2018 Perseverance Award. I got this life to fix, threw it all out in a ditch, broke it down when I was sick, I built it back up brick by brick. She was diagnosed with mono, went through a lot of rehab, a lot of struggles. A lot of people said she was gone. Illness couldn't deter Ella Easton as she battled back from mono to make the 2018 Pan Pacific team in Tokyo. And Ella Easton third. Katie McLaughlin has slowly but surely come back from a neck injury suffered in early 2016, and this summer qualified for the Pan Pax team in Tokyo. And Katie McLaughlin touches in at second. Congrats, Katie. We're trying to get it. Katie McLaughlin's being hugged by all her Cal teammates. That's how much it means. Micah Summerall epitomized perseverance by coming back to the sport she loves, and with that fresh perspective, produced a gold medal swim in Tokyo. Summerall just getting ahead of King. It's mind-boggling to think where she was just a short year ago. That's why you never give up. And the golden goggle goes to Micah Summerall. What a comeback! She's gonna punch a ticket down to Tokyo!
I didn't actually prepare a speech because I was a little too nervous to accept this, but um, sorry. I want to thank my husband for being there for me, especially when times were really hard. And he's been the person that's been pushing me through all of this and keeping me together, and I just appreciate him so much. <laughs> sorry. I also want to thank my coach, Mark Schilling, for being there and for understanding so much more about like the things I've been through and just being a helping hand for me when I need it the most. And he's just been so patient with me. And I want to thank uh, my club team, Chattahoochee Gold, for you know taking me in as an inexperienced coach and allowing me to also swim for them and just turning that into experience that has become something that's great for me and hopefully great for the kids as well. And I just am so thankful for this and just the ability to, with small steps, and just come back to a sport that I love and be able to do it well again. Um, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I think that may be my favorite award of the night. I tell you, isn't that great? It's not what happens to us in life, it's what we do about it. We are not our circumstances. We are not our circumstances. We rise above. Great award. Micah, congratulations to you. And now... Thank you.